Hello, everybody. It's the warm. I'm back for more Raging Loop. And I know you are all on the edge of your seats, just waiting to hear what the uh, result of the previous night was. You want to know what Haruaki's role is, and I do too, but I kind of want to check something real quick. So I'm going to do that. Uh, where was it? I think it's here. Eh, これって単なるバカ話じゃない Okay. So, you know, for, com you know, for completionist's sake, just because I'm curious, we're going to see what Chiemi's answers to these are. Um, it's interesting. I was reminded by Lisa, I believe, that one of these answers does indeed have a key needed. And I believe this was the key that we needed for a couple of the. Uh, there's a couple choices in wit that are also locked. And I think 20 was what we needed there, too. So whatever 20 is, it is apparently some something major. Um, I believe the, the, the one we did, we've only done it once, but I believe it was this one. And so if I hit uh, skip here. People. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, we've seen that before. That's no issue. Let's. Okay, let's just hear some of these other things. I'll be, we're going to save the one I'm most interested in for last. Let's do a couple others first. People. Secaide. Ah, okay, so she's just gonna say she, that we're right for every one of them. Woohoo! Well, there we go. Okay, so that was the question about. つねにバカされたとか、亡霊、つまり私に祟り殺されたりとか、シャレにならない病気移されたりとか。いや、いや。All Anyway, this girl was actually pretty sharp. She really had a way with words and knew how to capitalize on it. It almost felt like she was implying that I couldn't let my guard down just because I was a guy. I admitted she was pretty damn attractive, but I felt like I'd have more fun just talking about lewd stuff than acting on it. Hey, okay, so there's that. Oops. Okay. Man, do you think she was serious about that? Okay, how about uh, you're desperate? ピンポン、正解です。うん。まあ、詳しくは話さないけど、ちえみさんにもいろいろありましてね。いろいろやになっちゃってまして。年頃の女性は悩み多きものだよ。僕でよければ伺おうか。お、話せる男。これはリスクもクソも悩み相談から流れるような持ち帰りの展開か。お持ち帰りも何もここはすでに君の家でしょうに。絶対絶命。しかしここで実は悩みを打ち明けるつもりなどないという罠が。謎はな
か。お。Yeah, so this is the same. Okay, yep, that's just the same. And. 正解者には素敵なプレゼント。不正解者はブッシュブッシュ殺します。You needed an alibi. ピンポーン、正解です。I knew it. いやー、だって怪しいと思わなかった。こんな真夜中にあんな場所で何やってたのって。それは確かに。あそこで何かしらやばいことをしてたのはもう確定として。それをごまかすのに好都合な証言者が登場みたいなおおあるいは迷い込んだ山中の集落で最後が襲撃なんて夢があるよね地球ホラーのお約束だよねしかもこのクイズ不正開示のペナルティが殺人という露骨なネタバラシが仕込まれていたしねあしまった天然だ恥ずかしいこいつは口封じに殺すしかないね正解商品も殺人とはえじゃあチエミ食べますやめとくガー OK So pretty much just a few haha moments Yeah Okay. Well, you know, it wasn't anything major, but I just wanted to see. Well, it was good to be reminded that there is, in fact, a lock there. But,、uh, yeah, I mean, Chemi is still Chemi, so she, as Haraki says, you know, she is, a, she is away with words, you know? <laughs> I don't think you can deny that. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's、um, think about everything that's been going on. Haruaki has deviated from the normal wit plot line by presumably making sure Yudai Hashimoto is going to survive. And we seem to be trying to go for Haru Makashima. So, we are trying to、uh, get her to open up about what she's been going through, what she saw in the past, and you know, obviously try to understand some of the mysteries that are going on here. And、uh, unfortunately, in our pursuit of that, the human banana was unleashed, you know, so whether that's going to be a An aid or a hindrance, I, I guess we'll find out. Now, I know <laughs> there were a couple comments、uh, right about here. You know, when we, when we finished the scene and this one opened up, I quickly saved and got out of here. But yes, I couldn't help but see this line, and I know a couple people saw it too. And so it's looking like. Haruaki might be getting something here. Now, if he's a wolf, that's going to be absolutely insane. I, I've just been thinking about it since last time. And on the one hand, it's utterly terrifying. He's, we know his prowess. He's normally just very good, but you know, because of the looping, he's become a bit desensitized, and so he's able, of, he's able to come up with some, some astounding cruelty in pursuit of what he wants at this point in time. And so there's that. But on the other hand, if he becomes a wolf, Imagine just how many answers we're going to be able to get. You know, we'll be able to get a first 
and uh, look at what the wolfification process is, you know. We'll be able to maybe understand the rules that govern the wolves because we know there there's potential corruption deaths that a wolf can get. We'd be able to get, learn that. Uh, perhaps we'd learn about a bit more about Shanae Sama. You know, there's so much we could learn if we were a wolf. So I'm both, on the one hand, frightened. On the other, on the other hand, um, really curious. You know, so let's let's just do it. Let's just find out. I felt a strange pain all over my body. Next, I felt that something was way too red. I could see the light of the outside through my eyes. I thought that meant it was dawn, but that wasn't the case. The morning sun had a bitter orange color, but this red right here was darker and colder. It also felt like my eyes weren't even closed. Why was I unconscious with my eyes open? Not only did my body hurt, but it was cold as well. Too cold. I was sleeping on the ground. My hair was on some gravel, while my hands felt grass and mist. It was cold. My senses awakened. No, it was more like something that had been cut off had suddenly returned. It wasn't quite the same as a typical morning, and the bizarre sensation took me a moment to adjust to. I was outside. The moment I realized that, all blood left my face. I tried to jump up, but then I realized my body was sluggish and that my body temperature was extremely low. Had I been out in this cold mist for that long? My mind was in a better condition than my body, at least. Why was I outside, anyway? Had I broken some taboo I didn't know about? Did the prefab count as outside? Would I be taken outside and killed because of it? Maybe there wasn't even a need for a reason like that. It could have been that I'd be used as an example. If Yudai Hashimoto did the feast prep this time, no one would die tonight, but perhaps that was a bad thing for Great Lord Shinai. The existence of the penalty, the corruption, was best made through example. A simple mess of a corpse was enough to prevent people from trying to escape or walking out at night. However, if no one broke that rule, no example could be made. But it was actually entirely possible to make an example without anyone breaking any laws. If there was a corpse tomorrow, everyone would just assume that the victim had broken a law. No one would question the punisher's decision. Well, we hadn't had any unexplainable victims of the corruption thus far. That was my assumption, anyway. Rakako-san going nuts made absolutely no sense, but it wasn't clear if that was the corruption, so I would just leave it at that. Besides that... Excuse me. Besides that, all instances of the corruption so far seem to have been completely seemed to have completely plausible causes behind them, so I'd just assume that the Punisher was fair. But could I trust their benevolence now in this situation? I was an outsider who was barely known here, and that kind of made me the best person to make an example of. Had I been too optimistic to assume I wouldn't die today? My throat was dry, which made me feel even colder. My irritation and panic broke my tolerable limits, and I finally regained my senses and control over my body. There was red light all around me. Its source was distant, but it lit up the entire mist, giving it a bewitching, unsettling shine. It made me both uneasy and scared. It reminded me of the first mist I'd seen, even though it was late at night right now. However, Unlike the first time, I didn't feel any beasts nearby. I strained my eyes to look into the mist, and realized that I had someone at my side. Or rather, that I, there was a humanoid silhouette within the red light. It was a girl. 
Haru Makashima. Haru. Oh. As I tried to stand up, I staggered pathetically and collapsed again. I could barely even speak. She noticed me, slowly turned her face toward me, and looked down on me with, no, with eyes showing no hint of emotion, thought, or life. <laughs> She was even smiling a bit. Pusaishi-san. Oh no. That was Kaori's voice. I heard my name. It surprised me, but I somehow turned to the other side and saw... Kaori Oribe-san. No. Her eyes and expression were almost exactly like Haru-chan's. Kami-sama ga oide ni narimasu. Kami-sama? Not... Shinai-sama? Was I still half asleep? Was this, was this some sort of dream? Why were they here anyway? But if I could actually see the god that Chiami Rokako-san and Haru-chan talked about, I would accept in a heartbeat. When did, uh, when did Rokako-san mention that? Was that near the end of Wit? Of the Wit route? Did, uh, I don't remember when Rokako-san directly mentioned that. Hmm. I turned to the direction that those two were facing. In red, misty darkness, I saw the outline of a large tree. It was the hanging pine. That meant that this was the graveyard. There were three lights, or rather, sets of them within the mist. It took me a moment, but I realized they were eyes. The vague silhouette seemed human, and yet not human at the same time. Was that God? Why had they appeared before us? I feel like Haruaki has to be really out of it, right? To not think of the possibility, you know? what's going on here questions filled my head my thoughts became dull my sense of logic froze and my vision vision contracted suddenly god spoke that doesn't sound like god you can't trick me game look here huh Oh, I see. So basically, he, he must have a strange accent or speaking in a strange dialect or something. Or just speaking in broken Japanese, I guess. It was like a rumble, but it was definitely a voice. We will now tell you the true legend. I tried to follow what he said. The wolves aren't dead yet. It's the humans that are dead. Humans, snake, monkeys, crow, spider. All of them have risen up from Yomi. The law of the mountain says. That they must all be killed. You were chosen to be the wolves. Destroy the Yomibito and purify the mountain and river. We will give. Something to you? 
必ず小ぶりと急ぐべし We must wear it and cleanse yourselves. さらば汚れの霧何時らが身を犯すことなし Do that and the corrupt mist shall not harm you. さてもけがれの霧のこちことすさまじければ But since the mist is so dense, 我ら無地なを使わさん We will also send you the badger. 妙番無地な読み人の一人にいい模様をして何時らに組みせさすべし Tomorrow night we shall inspire one of the Yomibito to become your ally. これすなわち無地なのカゴなり何時らにあたう我らがこと寄せなり This badger would be a guardian and it is our help to you. Huh. So the wolves always got such a detailed explanation. They were low in number, humans received other guardians, they were under pressure to lie at all times, and were surely conflicted about many things. The wolves were actually quite at a disadvantage here. However, they had more information. They knew their allies and enemies, and about the existence of the traitor unknown to the humans. Sorry, Kiribo. 人よに一人の血を流すべし。Anyway, draw the blood of a human one. Excuse me. Anyway, draw the blood of one human a night. Anyway, seriously, did he have any idea how hard that was? さらずは、なきにせらるは、なんじらなり。Otherwise, you will be the ones to die. Threats too, huh? You may, you may. Utagau koto nakari. Do not doubt this. You may, you may. Utagau koto nakari. He just repeated it. For effect, surely. He really wanted us to believe him. So, the three of us were wolves. I had no idea if that was true. Hell, I didn't even know if this was real or not. Then, the red light became weaker, or my consciousness began to fade. I had no idea. And soon enough, it was all dark. Okay, so. We have, there has to be more. There has to be something. They, they said they were going to give us something. I assume it's the pendant. What is it that, that has to do something more than just that, right? Than just the speech they gave. My body hurt. The, the, the familiar sensation made me open my eyes slightly. I saw the bright but shabby inside of the prefab. Through the dirty, curtainless window, I saw the mist outside. This was reality, wasn't it? I lifted my upper body, turned a bit, moved my head, pinched my cheek. It all felt real. I then tried to stand, and I could. Looking at my phone, which was about to run out since this place had no electricity, I saw the correct date and that it was eight o'clock. I had slept in pretty late. Remembering something, I lifted the bottom of my shirt and looked at my stomach. What I saw made me freeze. The Lord of the Hunt, the Wolf, slay all the Yomibito, cleanse and purify or die. <sighs> it wasn't a dream. Or was it? Cleanse, purify, dream. そんなもんは神富士吉の方々が私たちをバカにしてから考えたもんじゃと思ったのよねだけどそうじゃない
本当じゃと信内様は加護をくださるとともにそう言われなさったおじいちゃんが死んだ日に私の夢に出てそう教えてくれたんだ Great Lord Shinai told the real story through dreams, making the people of Yasumizu trained drastically. They went from those who hunted wolves to those who hunted humans. It wasn't clear which side was right. I didn't even know if there was a right side to this. But. I didn't feel much. I didn't get any sort of hatred for the humans or motiva motivation to kill. The first time, Yasunaga kun, Tai san, and Haru chan all had some sort of. Cold, calm anger toward the humans. Last time, Chiemi said that she was intent on killing me from the start. As for Mochi, my first impression of him was weird but harmless kid, and that somehow became insane killer. However, She had also said that she was struggling, and it didn't sound like it had anything to do with what she wanted. Regardless of what you were like before, you became a wolf by getting the wolf as your guardian. What was Mamiya san like in that regard? She had worked as a wolf, but that was either just to survive or because she was urged by Chiemi. There was no zeal or loyalty there, so she ended up being silenced. That meant. That the real story only worked on the people to, of Yasumi's. There has to be more. There has to be something else here. You, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna tell me that Kaori is going to be totally okay with, with killing her kids? I, I understand. The idea is. I mean, Yasunaga told us in the very first route. It's that you, you convince them. That they're already dead and need to be put down. Like it's a mercy killing, basically, or something like that. But. That seems a bit much for Kauri. I guess we'll find out. Huh. I thought the wolves said they were giving us something. Was the only way things made sense. But if that dreamlike experience was true, then this time the wolves were Haruchan, Kaori san, and I, right? I had seen them in the mist and red light, and they certainly didn't look right. I wasn't sure if it was a matter, it was a, excuse me, I wasn't sure if it was actually a matter of, ins of sanity, but they just accepted the event as natural. A change born from the real story. An event set up from the start. No. I also had to consider the possibility that it was just a dream, and that me being chosen as a wolf had nothing to do with it. I still couldn't be sure if they were the other wolves. I absolutely couldn't just go to the dining hall and ask them if they were. I had to wait until tonight. Suddenly. Seishi! Daijoubu ka? Haruaki san? Haruaki san? Ikiteru? Haruaki san? Someone knocked on my door. I quickly wiped off the bloody guardian mark on my stomach. It was dry, so it came off easily. I washed my hands in the bucket and unlocked the door. Bujika! Yokata, Haruaki san! Hey guys. I'm, uh. I might be playing for the, uh. other team this time. So, uh. Yeah. I saw Takumi-san, armed with a farming tool, and Chiemi, who was so happy about my survival that she had tears in her eyes. The fact that she was the same person as that vicious mass murderer made it difficult to be happy about this development. If this was an act, this reminded me that she herself told me I had a bad eye for women. Without any of that, She'd really seem like nothing but a gentle, cute young woman. We carefully walked through the mist, 
まさか本当に霧が立つなんて不吉なことだって聞いたけどうんどこまで聞いたのかな必ず死人が出るって誰だよ来て早々ろくでもねえこと吹き込んだのはそれはまあともかくまさかどなたか亡くなったんですかいやうう We've got the full cast It's time まだ誰も死んでないよ Good もうみんないるんだ no, OK no, no, wait to, wait, let's wait. うん食堂にごめん春明さんを迎えに行くの遅くなっちゃって Well, if our, if our objective this route was to get closer to Haru, then、uh, I guess we have the means to do that in any case. Of course, they come for me last. I was at the bottom of the totem pole here. And despite that, I was a wolf. Crap. How was I supposed to survive Kanzo san's can you just die today? Hold on. What was I thinking? Was I actually going to fulfill my role as the wolf? I would actually create those awful piles of corpses? I, I didn't want to do that. I wasn't beholden to some weird legend. There's no need for me to play along with his insanity. Honestly, I, I could just reveal who the wolves were on the first day. That'd keep the sacrifices minimal and. No. That'd result in my own death. I had to think carefully. I had to survive. I had to survive and escape the loop. This wasn't a matter of just leaving Yasumizu or Fujiyoshi. I'd actually ended the feast once and escaped, yet the death loop still continued. Hell, the feast of the Yomi Purge and the general mystery surrounding Fujiyoshi still wasn't over. Honestly, I had no confidence if I'd been in the right mind when I decided to actually move to Fujiyoshi. It felt like all the characters and stage props here were, were gathered to bring about nothing but tragedy. Until I solved all the mysteries here, Supernatural forces here would continue to terrorize me no matter how far I ran. There was the possibility that surviving as a wolf would solve everything, though that wasn't a pleasant thought. Perhaps I'd come back to life, return from Yomi over and over because of the local Yomi inhabitants, so in order to solve this, I had to become a wolf and kill them all. Right. This could be the right path. Haruaki-san? To be fair, that. that isn't a crazy line of thought. He is someone who's going through a death loop. That feels a kind, kind of,、uh, you know, a kind of hell, so to speak. So, maybe. <laughs>、yeah, that that's, sounds better than anything I can think of. What's the name? I'm not sure. 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 I mean, look, if we're doing the whole looper thing, then this was kind of inevitable at some point, right? We'd, we'd eventually have a, a loop where we. I don't know. Join the other side. You know, just. <sighs> yeah. Would I have to kill them too? Oh my. Ooh. Their expressions turned to dark. 
I saw the plaza. Just like last time, Tai Yamawaki san was at the Okiba with the three Yamatsu Okami symbols painted on it. The exchange was exactly as I remembered. I still knew about all this, so I had to be careful to stay in character. I couldn't forget that just about everyone here had their first feast today. They didn't have knowledge or the experience, and no one had killed anyone yet. If I went and said something weird, they suspect me, so I had to act like the confused newbie. As I approached this plaza, I noticed something strange, a stench. Though it resembled the smell of death I was now intimately familiar with, this one felt more beastly. I disregarded her warning and headed toward the source of the smell. Huh. There was a pile of corpses in the middle of the plaza. Okay. Ah. Though, they weren't human. From what I could tell, they were the remains of mid-sized, four-legged beasts. They looked like dogs, but their bodies were in such a terrible shape, I wouldn't have been able to tell if they were foxes, tanuki, or wolves instead. Some had their limbs or heads removed, and a lot were just cut up really badly. Bloody fur, eyes open so wide you'd think they'd fall out. If I had to guess, there were at least 20 of these here in this pile. It was about as tall as the back of a smaller adult. It reached badly, but more than that, it was just uh, disturbing. Crimson fur, countless fangs, claws, and eyes. This seemed like an original idea for a fantasy monster. Indeed, monster was very apt. It was almost a monument dedicated to the Yamatsu Okami. Perhaps this was the example this time. I wasn't planning on touching it. It was basically a heap of potential diseases. Wouldn't dumping it in the river be illegal, though? Ah, screw it. This wasn't the time to worry about stuff like that. It uh, probably wouldn't affect me much at this point, to be honest. I'd seen too many horrible human corpses. Outside the dining hall, there was Kanzo Makashimishi, gun in hand. Along with him was... Kusaishika. Ohio. At the entrance, there were Mamiya-san, who looked uneasy, and Hashimoto-san, who looked strangely composed. So, um... Pardon, I can't remember just at this moment. Uh, someone made a comment, and it, it was funny because... Last episode, I had this, I had the exact same thought, but I, would, I wasn't, I wasn't sure about it, so I kind of just dismissed it at the time, but then someone else commented and, and so kind of validated it for me. Um, if you look at uh, Mr. Hashimoto here, he, he doesn't seem to blink at all. And that's kind of weird. It, it's just, it, it, it's given me this strange thought. What if, out of everyone here, like, like here's the thing, we've we've gone through two routes now, and you know how many loops did we go through in each of those routes? 
So we're pretty much used to everyone here, in a, in a way, right? We know Yasunaga. We know Kanzo. We know Takumi. We know Nisato. We, we know pretty much everyone here. What if, here in this new route of ours, Hashimoto-san might, might serve as a bigger obstacle, in a way? Since he seems to be able to stay cool under pressure and, uh, well, hmm. Yeah, just a bit unnerving. Just, just gotta say that. After greeting them, I went inside. Hey, Kauri. Nice to see ya. You wouldn't have happened to have a crazy wolf dream, <laughs> did you? I looked around and yeah, everyone was here. Total of 16. What a party. At once, at one seat, there was Haruchan. Her face was pale and her two friends were seated next to her. Mochi's gonna be a big obstacle. Like, like, like let's, let's be real here. You know, of course we do, we are used to these people now, but um, Mochi and Yasunaga, they're gonna be huge obstacles here. Man, I feel like, hmm, I'm, oh, it's like, okay, I was terrified and so worried going forward, but now that it's happened, and now that I, I can just accept, okay, werewolf now, suddenly my, my head is filled with these thoughts, like, okay, who are we going to take down first? How is Haruaki going to work with Haru and Kaori? What's the game plan? It's like, ugh, it's like I'm getting in, I'm getting into that mode too, you know? Har Haruaki was talking about it, it's just, ugh. She'd hated the mist before, but this time it seemed even worse. She also made herself as small as possible, and it felt like she was averse to their care. This seemed like a mix of her fear of the mist and the rejection of the villagers she'd had as a badger. Oh, um, Scaredy cat. Oh boy. Uh, well, time to test that theory, Mochi. Okay. A girl who was afraid of the corruption. It started eight years ago when she tried to visit Yasumizu when it was covered in the mist, and she saw something. That had to be it. The idea, or certainty, that the people around her where Yomibito had to scare her pretty badly. Maybe she really was a wolf. Kaori-san, on the other hand, looked okay. That thought came too soon. A moment later, I heard a crash from behind the counter. <laughs> oh man. Haruaki, you're gonna need to... Okay, this is just initial impressions here but you might na you might have to pull some weight here for your team i mean if kauri has bought the story then that means she's lost both of her sons right from the beginning so of course she's going to just be destroyed immediately right ah Without waiting for a response, I heard behind the counter. There was broken porcelain on the floor, along with some rice and soup. The same food as last loop, basically. 
I already knew what was where in the kitchen, so I wetted a cloth, wrung it out, and started wiping it up. Then I spread out a newspaper and collected the porcelain. Suddenly, I felt something touch my upper arm. I turned around and saw Kaori-san, crouching and staring at the floor with a pale expression. She was shaking. I could tell from her touch there were tears in her eyes, and her half-open mouth made her look like she was about to sob. Her whole body was basically saying that she couldn't bear this. Kaori-san was feeling bad. Is it okay? Yasunaga-kun, Yoshizuku-kun. As they helped her get up the stairs, Kaori-san looked at me with eyes that seemed both pleading and scornful. It felt like she was asking if she really had to kill these wonderful children with her own hands. This mission was too much for her to bear. And from what I could tell, she wanted to share the burden with me to make it easier for herself. Hmm. It was safe to assume that the dreamlike experience had, indeed, showed me the other wolves. Calm down. Though it seemed pretty conclusive to me, this was just day one. We had the mist, the wolf symbols, and a pile of dog corpses, so... It wasn't weird for a sensitive woman to become a bit sick. Even Shami and Hisako-san didn't look so good. The only ones who were clearly okay were Rikako-san, who looked like a no-mask most of the time, and Mako, who probably had her eyes hidden. So long as they didn't act any more suspicious, it was all good. The I might have been the one in trouble here. I told him to call me Hassan and decided that I had to act more ignorant of things. Okay. Okay, we've, uh, I'm not reaching my limit yet, but I think I want to call it here. So, yeah, that reaction of Cowries, at least at first glance, does appear to confirm what Harawaki said. Um... Yeah, I guess. I mean, since a good since a since when would it have been? Definitely, it it had to have been since wit, since the wit route. But I've been thinking, and I think Haruaki has been thinking that there had to be more to it to become the the wolves, right? Now, I thought the wolves said... I, I might have to go back and check again. I thought they said they were giving us something else. And then and then right after, they told us to cleanse, right? I thought that would have been the pendants, but apparently not. Hmm. I know we've talked about, you know, the unique culture of Yasumizu and how that is what is leading them to act in these ways during the mist. But that still feels like a stretch. I feel like Kaori, of all people, should be, should be the one who would resist here. But you know what? I'm going to wait until nightfall. I really want to see what a wolf meeting looks like. Um, so I'm, I really want to see what it's going to be like when Haruaki, Haru, and Kaori get together 
and plan out what they're going to do. I mean, I mean, Haru, Haruaki summarized it pretty dang good. The whole thing, Tai, tai and uh, Yasunaga and the first route and Mochi and Chami and the second route. And yeah, the one comment that Chami made about how she seemed to be something they had to do. I still want to believe there's more to this than we're being led to believe at this moment. Yeah. Well, all right, everyone. I hope you're... Uh, yeah, I hope you're all ready for this, because although we've been seeing the aftermath of the the wolves' grisly work, it looks like we might actually be participating in it this time. And along with that comes the knowledge that we're betraying the people that we originally wanted to save. So, well, steal yourselves, because I don't think it's going to be easy. I've been The Warm. This has been Raging Loop. I'll see you next time. Stay well.